Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. Um, today we're going to be talking about NBA 2K25. We're going to be talking about bump steals. I need to address what happened yesterday um, on stream. And I need you guys to understand where I'm coming from. Um, simply because on stream there were mixed reviews, which there always will be. Everybody will have their opinion about what a person feels about you know NBA 2K or whatever the case may be. But as a community... There is no, you know, we agree to disagree. There's always, I'm going to play this side. And then if at any moment this side is no longer viable for my argument, I'll then switch sides. That's how this community is. And of course, you know, I put out a tweet to Mike Wang um, asking him to address the bump steals. Now, I'm not sure if you know what a bump steal is. Um, I'll give you a few examples here with NBA 2K25 gameplay. What you're seeing on screen are moments when the user who's actually controlling a certain player uses their body as a weapon, basically. It's it's the way of choosing to know where your player is going to go. I'm sorry, your opponent is going to go with the ball, what type of move, and to use your body to get in the way of their trajectory, to get in the way of their end point. You know what their start point is. You know what animation they're actually using. So you as a defender can get to that end point to then have the ball just roll off your leg, hit off your butt, hit off your back, hit off your big toe, whatever you want. Now, we as a community came up with this term bump steal. This is not something that 2K, you know, wanted to use or wanted to promote or, you know what I mean? Like, they just have it in their game. This is something that's just in their game that uses the ball tangibility as a way to say, if you cut off certain players at certain times and certain moves, there may be body to body contact or I'm sorry, something else will result in a percentage. Not sure how high or high low it is, but there will be a percentage of time where if you are at the person's end point, the ball will hit off you physically without you even having to touch a button besides moving your right stick a certain way to have your player get in the way of them. The ball will jostle loose. The offensive player will get put inside of an animation that will look like they got fouled because they can't they're in a canned animation this is one of the last canned animations in the game there are there are others but this is one of the last canned animations that we see where a player gets bent over he looks like he got slapped in the back of the head or a player goes like whoa what the heck was that it's because in physics that moment wasn't really supposed to happen unless there was a body up contact or some type of foul or some type of blocking foul but since that isn't there and the ball tangibility is just coming loose, the offensive player gets jostled. Now, let me address the skill in the room. Um, before we do that, I want to play you guys a clip of what I asked Mike Wang on Twitter so that if you're in this YouTube video and you're watching, you can tell me if I'm tripping or if I'm kind of on par with what you may think that I'm thinking. So... Let's go ahead and check that out. Hey, yo, Mike, what's good, Brody? Um, I've been watching all of the gameplay reveals, all of the breakdowns, all of the new info. I just got one thing I need to ask you, Mike Wang. Please, please tell me that these bump steals will be getting toned down or if you'll be somehow being able to nerf their, their presence. Because, man, in every gameplay that I'm watching, they are they people are saying that they, this is taking skill for them just being in the right place at the right time to have the ball tangibility actually have the ball get bumped loose i just i just i just want to know can can we get that taken out please sir or have it or have it toned down if it can't completely be taken out without messing up something else please sir i beg of thee i do not want to be bumped all right, so this is the moment where I want to ask you guys, was I tripping? Am I kind of on par or does it not matter? Now, of course, somebody like me, um, somebody that, you know, people can attack because they have frustrations about 2K 
and they sometimes choose me as a punching bag, which is totally fine. It's social media. I really, I take all of it with a grain of salt, but there were certain comments that you can easily go to that Twitter post and read under your own fruition, but I'm actually going to read one to you and I'm going to ask you if it actually makes sense. Okay. So the specific comment is on screen for you guys. Um, Obviously, uh, this Jada Juice man was jokingly, you know, trying to rile, you know, people up and, you know, kind of get a, like a response out of me, as you can see, as his final, like, you know, response. But he put, all I know is if I got that B on Hall of Fame or Legend, I better be bumpy. I paid $100 to be able to defend. Stop listening to this grown ass man cry about a video game. He should only be playing for three hours max a day i'm hating because i have a nine to five and he gets paid to chill now of course my response to him was the term being bumpy isn't the same as a bump still now let's talk about that for a moment let's unpack that i'm not sure if you are familiar with my content or whatever the case may be but ever since nba 2k19 i've been creating locks every single year of NBA 2K. And I've been using the system that we play in. Of course, you know what that means. If 2K says that steals aren't gonna work this year, I'm not gonna make a build that has a lot of steel. If they say blocks aren't as crazy as they would be this year, I'm not gonna make a build with a lot of block. I'm gonna kind of make my lock around what we need to do. Now for NBA 2K24, I made this build. And with this build, I was able to be bumpy, I was able to use 94 feet to hound ball handlers up the entire uh, way of the court from, you know, uh, baseline to, to three point line, as well as I was able to get crazy insane steals with right stick ripper, as well as play lanes very, very well. I was very, very bumpy. Now, when I told y'all um that a bump still and being bumpy are two different things they actually are because these are terms that we came up with in the 2k community this ain't nothing that 2k sports created we created it so as in if we created it we should interpret it as what we created it and not just saying the word bumpy means oh me being bumpy i should get a bump still every single time no being bumpy means the fact of being bumpy is that we've always hated ball handlers dribbling through our body, dribbling through our arms when we swipe at the ball. That's what all of us locks and all of us defenders who create defender builds have had problems with over the years. Now, granted, I am somewhat of a unicorn. I am able to play any position on the floor, point guard, shooting guard, small forward, power forward, center at any given time and give you hell. That's how I've always been. I've always been someone who can create different types of builds, score at will, defend at will, and have a great time on 2K. I've said this many of times. I'm one of those unicorns. You may look at me as a casual. You may look at me as a comp casual. You may look at me and say, why is iPod in these tournaments and still making it to the finals in these comp situations? None of that matters in this moment. What matters is bump steals versus being being bumpy and then actually interpreting it as you know what maybe we jumped off the ledge with this a little bit because i'm gonna tell you what ended, ended up happening in nba 2k24 nba 2k24 came out everybody had certain builds when i created my lock there were people out there that created inside out scores shot creators all of that jazz right when my lock went up against point guards or shooting guards that handled the ball they had a plethora of badges that they had to get. I only needed about five badges at that at max. All I needed was right stick ripper. All I needed was the uh, contesting badge, the paint contest, the block badge, and maybe a little bit of the immovable enforcer. That's all that I really needed. Oh, and 94 feet. So I needed like a, a, a max of six badges. I didn't even really need um the passing lane steel badge i didn't really need that because i was the on ball defender 
100% of the time. The only time that I really got lane steals is when I baited a guard into throwing a pass to his hash. Now, I know that that doesn't make sense to some of y'all because some of y'all play casual basketball on 2K. What I'm talking about is comp situations, situations where you are playing a stacked five in a rec if you're going in pro-am. This is what I'm talking about. So if I'm playing on ball the entire time and my badges are silver, gold, hall of fame within three days of the game, while the guards that I'm playing up against are still building their players up to see if they like it. They have some have, you know, bronze, some silver, maybe even gold. But for the most part, my build is bumpy as fuck. As soon as you pass the ball in, I'm on you. Guarding you 94 feet, as they call the badge. I'm being bumpy. In some instances, if I could get a player to switch hands with the ball because he's scared that I'm attacking one side of the ball, I could easily use right stick ripper and take that ball. Super easy. Or when the game first came out, I could even just press square. I, if I knew where my opponent was going with the ball, I could press a button. That's another term that we use in this community. Press a button because that's defense. If you're not doing anything besides using your right stick to go on a, a loop of he's going to go right, he's going to go left, he's going to go right, he's going to go left, and then you stop on a dom and, and try to take the ball with your booty from a bump steal, I wouldn't call that skill. I would call that taking advantage of a broken system, like I said in the stream on, on, on yesterday. Like, that's what it is. You're taking advantage of the broken system because this is what 2K's tangibility system for that ball looks like. It hasn't been revamped. It hasn't been redone, but what they do is they tone down the way that that interaction goes. Now, from the clips that you've been watching on stream, right? Some people would probably say that they've heard of a kickball violation being called maybe five to seven times the entire year of the game, right? So you mean to tell me if a bump still gets hit off of my calf, that's not a kickball violation. Now, of course, as a defender, you're calling yourself skillful and you're saying that I can get that every single time because it's a bump still. But in reality, that taking advantage of that system and that non kickball violation <laughs> not being called like that's taking advantage of a broken system. It's not skill. So when we talk about, you know, situations where I run to a spot and then the ball hits off my butt. Yeah, that's not a kickball. But in a sense, that's still kind of taking advantage of the system. Now, not every player can do that. There are some players that are very elite that knows, you know, how their player will even react to certain movements. For instance, everyone knows that lane steals were toned down in 2K24. And with that being the issue, a lot of people just resorted to right stick ripper being the badge that would trigger when they would go for a lane still with the right stick. And then they even toned that down. So just imagine making your lock on day one, you come with a 96 or higher steal, and within three weeks of the video game being out, they nerf your entire build into the ground. We all went through that. I made a 6.6 six or 6.7 six lock. Then I went with a 6.8 lock with higher wingspan because I needed to cut people off a little bit more because 2K did something to my build that didn't make it viable anymore. So I literally had a 99 overall build that I couldn't use for the rest of the year. No matter how bumpy he could get, no matter what, it just didn't work and it didn't fit the system of 2K because I had to make a taller and more wingspan build. I had to literally defend people with a Giannis type build. Like you see where I'm going with this, right? So if I'm telling y'all that certain things don't make sense because it's not basketball, I'm telling you this because we watch basketball all the time. Regardless of how you think uh, the NBA plays or, you know, oh, it's a video game. It really is not that serious. Essentially, when you're watching basketball, you don't see bump steals like that. You may see situations where a player might dribble the ball off their leg their own league and then it, it fumbles out of bounds or 
there might be situations where somebody might be backing somebody down and they dribble that ball and hit off their leg or somebody come up and swipe at the ball or take the ball. But we don't have any of those animations in 2K as it stands. So when we talk about pro play and 9,000 animations and more and stuff like that, where are the actual animations that make these situations make sense? You see what I'm saying? For instance, right? This clip that I'm showing right now, if Tyrese Maxey is trying to go through, this, through the screen of Embiid, right? And instead of the ball bumping off the knee of this player, why can't that player beat him to the spot? And when he throws that ball out, he can just reach out with two hands and take off. Or he can swipe at it or dive or lunge or, or some type of animation besides, res besides it resulting in a bump steal. Do you, do you see where I'm going with this, y'all? 2K has not updated the game or revamped the game enough to show the defensive side of things on how players are super active, super scrappy, soup like their hands aren't just staying at their side when they defend. They're cutting players off, they're reaching at the ball, giving body up contacts. Being bumpy does not mean you deserve a bump steal. Being bumpy means there should be a collision when a player is dribbling in front of you and trying to get through your body. But if that results in a bump still, it kind of doesn't make sense because in a body up contact, that means that most of the time their shoulder or their chest or something like that is, is, is in your way. So to me, if a person is trying to run through me, right, and they dribble in a ball and we get like a weird body up contact and that person might be lower in weight or they might, get jostled back in that moment when that player the offensive player i'm saying does not have control of himself or the ball we should be able to press square we should be able to right stick ripper that ball and take it not just be given the bump still and have the offensive player jostled out the play completely because of ball tangibility we need to have something in the game that says press a button that's defense because guess what we've all known right offense has gotten the 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 best of it of ever since the game came out offense has always been the key defense has never has never been the key but it seems to me that defense is always the first thing nerfed because offensive players feel like something should get some they should be nerfed simply because they're stealing the ball from you and then when I then what what I was saying to people was, and I'll bring up another tweet, right? What I was saying to people was the reason that I feel this way is because they always nerf us. Every single defender, every single year gets nerfed. And it's like for what? And then we have to result in bump steals. You you see where I'm where I'm going with this? We get nerfed. And then we say getting a bump steal is skill because it's all that we have left. It's our only option. This shouldn't be our only option. Bump steals and having those in the game shouldn't be our only option to actually play defense. Because when 2K24 came out, I was super bumpy. I was bumping people. I was getting their adrenaline bars taken away. I felt good. But then it happened. They nerfed us and all defenders couldn't defend anymore. Magic Johnson crossover. You couldn't get bumpy with that move because it was an animation that crossed over with the left stick. And for whatever reason, locks just couldn't get to it no more. They had to back up and get to their path of where the player would go. So for instance, right? If somebody would do a Magic Johnson cross, right? They had to basically back up a little bit and whether it was going to the right or the left, they had to back up a little bit and get to that meeting spot. But when they got to that meeting spot, they had to tap L2 to straighten up. And if that player decided to do the step back, the one that gave them super duper space and all of that, then they had to run to the player. But then when they had to run to the player, they had to make sure as a lock that you're in a vicinity that in case he shoots, you can put your hand up and give some contest. But don't forget, when he backed up, and that hesitation happened, he could do Magic Johnson again. So you always had to choose 
what you had to do as a lock. And that's what we had to deal with. Not being able to bump anybody. The offense having unlimited moves that they can get around us. And they can shoot at any given moment from getting space. So, of course... When that happens, when we get nerfed into the ground, spend another another $100 on another lock bill, we then say, hey, at least we got bump steals. At least I can go for those. See see how the results, the, the end game of what you have at your disposal shrinks. And then now we're praying to God that we get a bump steal. And then when we don't get the bump steal, guess what? What happens? We get mad at the game. We get pissed because we said no, we was there for the bump still. You didn't press a button. You didn't press square. You didn't press right stick ripper, but you're there. So in NBA 2K25 from the community day gameplay that you guys are looking at, almost nine times out of the 10 of the clips that I saw, I saw at least three or four bump steals in gameplays. I'm like, some of those weren't skill. They literally went to the ending point of a person's dribble, got the ball, knocked off their booty, their calf, their kneecap, their foot, their ankle, and didn't say anything about it. They they really just was like, eh, well, I guess that's skill. But it's not. It's not skill. And I, and, and I want to show you all this tweet because I will die on this hill, but I want to explain to you why I said this on social. So what I said here was I will die on this hill. All y'all think getting a bump steal is skill. It's a broken system. It is and getting steals with your booty only going to make offensive players complain until 2K nerfs the defense into the ground again this year. Mark my words. And I said offensive players outnumber defensive. It sucks, but it's true. Now, let me read a response to you because this was a this was a pretty good response that I actually liked. But at the same time, some of these are skillful moves. For instance, he said, what's not a skill either is you timing a bump steal correctly or a blitz correctly and the ball goes through your defender and you instantly get crabbed for a 3.90% of the time. Nobody complains about that, but complains when a tiny bit of realism is added to defense. Dribbling into people, losing the ball is a thing, it happens. Point guards, point guards need to learn how to not dribble into defenders. Stop trying to get an ankle breaker clip every play and just get a bucket. Damn, defense can't have anything. People want 85 offense, 15 defense. Face palm, damn. Now, what I took from this, right? When he put what's not a skill either, I knew that he was being very sarcastic. You know what I mean? Because he's actually mad at this point. He says, is you timing a bump still correctly or a blitz correctly? And the ball goes through your defender and you instantly get crabbed for a 3.90% of the time. Now, a bump still and a blitz are completely different things. This is, this is why I'm telling y'all we came up with this terminology, chat. This is the terminology that we came up as with as a community. So being bumpy, getting a blitz, and getting a bump steal are three different things. Being bumpy is when you're able to make the offensive player go chest to chest, shoulder to chest, or some type of collision between you two and figure out who's going to win that battle. That's being bumpy. Getting a blitz is when you blitz the offensive player's dribbling hand and you press a button. That's a blitz. Not running into the defender ball hand and praying to God that your booty gets a bump steal. You see what I'm saying? Like these are different terminologies for the same exact action, but one of those actions require you to press a button and the other action doesn't. For instance, when you want to get bumpy, when you run up to a, a, a player and you put your arm out to cut them off, which which is like sometimes the, the, the right stick when you hold it a certain way and you tap L2, and then next thing y'all know, y'all in a collision and you, you're you engaging and disengaging L2 to make sure that you don't get stuck in those animations that you could feather R2 to keep running with that person if you want to, you know, be bumpy and, and hold them to maybe running to the, to the sideline. Or maybe you want to force them into 
let's say for instance they're getting a screen you want to force them away from the screen yes you turn your body you hold your arm out and you make them decide like oh man this dude is cutting me off and he might rip me if i keep this in my ball hand all right well i'm gonna go the other way and then that's when your help defense is there but essentially blitzing somebody requires you to press a button that's the whole point of it and most of the time again like he said on this tweet it results into the ball going through your body right because 2k is registering you pressing a button as your hand or your arm or whatever has to come in contact with the ball doesn't that sound like a broken system to you but you rather run up to somebody and then when you run up to them you think you scare them and then you turn around and go to the opposite hand because you know that they're going to cross over and you just stop. And then the ball hits off your thigh and you're like, oh, yeah, got him, got one. Easy work. It's a broken system, guys. I'm, I'm trying to be as calm as I can be because it is a broken system. I know that I've been talking to y'all about this for, for quite, a, quite a while um, in this video. But I just wanted to come out with this because it it just had to be said, like I've been I've been playing 2K for so long. And I, I swear to God, when I make content, whether it's funny, whether it's, you know, uh, rants, whether it's, you know, directed at, you know, uh, gameplay or design or whatever, I try to just make sure that I'm letting everyone know because all of us are consumers and we got to deal with their product at the end of the day. So when I say like, yo, Mike, some of this shit need to be toned down. It's simply because I know once the offensive side of 2K starts their complaints, Mike Wing is going to start putting out polls. He's going to start reading Reddit. And I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to be another year of defenders taking the brunt force of all of the nerfs because once you start nerfing the the two things that people can do on defense the other 17 things that people can do on offense are going to outshine those two things even before the patch so what i'm saying to you is if you can tone down those bump steals and and stuff like that we can have some type of balance where people actually press a button Press L2 to drop down in defense and disengage it so they don't get caught in cross-up animations. Being able to cut people off with these new cutoff animations or whatever the case may be. Let us use them instead of everyone resorting to doing the same thing that we've been doing for 10 years. Because every single time that defense gets nerfed, that's the only thing that they can do. You see what I'm saying? Getting a bump still is literally the last resort to using a broken system against itself for your advantage. A bump still is not skill. It's a broken system and people take advantage of it. Now, of course, people who also get bump steals that's from like comp scenes and stuff like that, they are skillful players. They are, but they know, they may not want to admit it, but they know it's a broken portion of the system of 2k and they're going to take advantage of it to get the win they're they're not going to say oh that don't take no skill that's me being bumpy and this but they know it's not they'll they'll ride whatever wave they want to ride until it comes to a halt where they 2k say maybe we need to reevaluate that system and then guess what they'll say they'll say oh no 2k taking away the one thing that we have as defenders your booty Getting a steal with your booty is the last, last thing that you have as a defender. You don't see the problem there. <laughs> they took your hands away. They took your ability to swipe at a defender. They took you the, the ability for you to raise your hands to catch up, to intercept a pass. They took away the ability for you to actually cut off your defender when your player goes like this. They took away all of that. And they left you with bump steals. That's the one thing that you have to pray for. Because everything else was taken away from you. Make it make sense. But with that being said, chat. If you like the video, you like the video. If you don't, I don't care. But please leave a comment and tell me what you think. That's it. I'm going to holla at you on the next one. Peace. King Kong. King Kong. King Kong.
King Kong, King Kong, King Kong, Papa, King Kong, King Kong.